Oh no! Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. This is a highly, highly requested video. I will be fully breaking down exactly how I make my protein whey drip meal with cream of rice, protein powder. So many of you are DMing me asking me for an in-depth tutorial on how to make this. It's really not as complicated as it seems. I've kind of shown it in bits and pieces here and there on my channel, but I'm going to lay down a full description on how I do all of this. Courtesy of Wesley Visors, this is not my thing. This is totally his thing that I started Started doing because Anthony started doing it. So let's get right into it. This is how I make it. This is not how he makes it. First things first, I'm gonna make my cream of rice. So I need a bowl. I'm going to measure out 60 grams of cream of rice from this box of cream of rice. It's just plain old ground up rice. By the way, you can use any amount of cream of rice for this. I'm just using this amount because this is what I need on my meal plan. You could also do no cream of rice and just do the whey drip itself and that will come a little bit later. With 60 grams of cream of rice, I'm going to add seven ounces of water. I have a bougie fridge that measures it out for me. Now I'm going to stir the cream of rice to make sure that all of the rice is coated by water. And I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. Now that that's in the microwave, I'm going to make the whey drip portion of this meal. Now I'm going to use my favorite protein powder, which is Axe and Sledge Farm Fed. I'm using the flavor vanilla today. And now I'm going to measure out the amount of protein powder that I need. I'm gonna need 20 grams of protein. I'm going to calculate out how many grams of protein powder would be 20 grams of protein. 20 grams of this powder does not equal 20 grams of protein. I'm using a small bowl for this, by the way. Now here's the very important part. I use 27 grams of protein powder. In this bowl, I'm going to mix in 27 grams of water. This is going to give it the thick consistency that you need. You don't want it to be overly watery. It's okay if it is. Sometimes I mess up and it's watery, but I prefer it to be thick like an icing. Now you can see the protein is very thick. Now to make it even thicker, cause we want her thick with two C's, we're gonna pop her in the freezer for about five minutes just so it can thicken up a little bit more, but we don't wanna freeze it. Now that the cream of rice is done microwaving, you can kind of see, it looks like a cake-like texture on top. All I'm gonna do to this is add some salt and stir it up, make it nice and fluffy. The more that you stir, the fluffier it'll get. This also goes for the whey drip as well. Okay, we got that mashed potato-like consistency. Very thick, it's fluffy, it's delicious. Now from here, you can add any toppings that you want. For me, I'm not just adding the whey drip today. I'm also adding a little bit of dark chocolate and a little bit of almond butter as my fat source. You could also add blueberries, frozen blueberries, frozen fruit, whatever you want to this. But today for me is going to be the almond butter, dark chocolate, and whey drip on top. All right, my whey drip was in the freezer for five minutes. She's very thick, thick enough that if we did the blizzard test, it's not gonna fall onto my head. But it's not frozen. Now all that's left to do is to just drizzle this on top and you're done. Okay, we have my whey drip here. Let's give her a taste test. We gotta get a little bit of all the ingredients in here. And cheers. I love this combo. Vanilla with the chocolate and the almond butter. It's just so good. Now I know I'm gonna have a good workout today. Okay, it's time to freshen up before the gym. And then let's chat about how my reverse is going now two and a half weeks in. So I'm now 17 days post-show. So we're half a month into my reverse. I am actually feeling pretty good. I took check-ins yesterday. I wasn't the happiest with them, but I also wasn't mad about them. Ultimately, um, I had Brussels sprouts over the weekend and they don't really agree with my stomach in a way that it just decides to make my stomach rock. That really was what I wasn't satisfied with, but that has since past so I feel much better. Brussels sprouts taste amazing though. My body just hates them. So I'd say the best parts of my reverse so far are having more food freedom. It was nice basically reversing into the second show. So my food was up much, much higher and now guess my food is even higher but I'm incorporating foods that I truly am enjoying. Something that I wanted to touch on is just a conversation that I had with my coach. So he had given me a meal plan obviously to follow throughout this reverse and I'm following it but the one thing that I had requested was an almond butter and jelly sandwich every single day. He gave me bread and almond butter in my last meal of the day, which is what I wanted. But here's the thing, that just didn't suffice for me if I'm being quite honest, because he'd given me one slice of bread and I have to measure out my almond butter and he didn't give me jelly because he thought that I was using sugar-free jelly, which I'm not, I wanna be using good jelly. So I was just honest during one of my check-ins and was like, hey, just so you know, I'm not following that last meal of the day. I'm measuring out my protein, but when it comes to that 
sandwich. I am simply enjoying that and not measuring it out. I'm making it the way I want to make it. I don't overdo anything. I don't slap a bunch of jelly and a bunch of almond butter on it. I make it just right. I make it just how I want to make it. This is just one thing that I could do for myself to make myself feel less restricted. And in the long run, it would make me happier. It'd make me not burn out so quickly because I feel like I'm controlling food all the time in my life. And that's not fun because you want to be human too. And you want to be able to enjoy things on your own time as well. So being on prep for six months, I was controlling all of my food all the time. Now that I'm off of prep, I simply just want to have one meal a day where I feel like I'm not overly controlling it. Is it controlled? Yes, because it is the same thing every single day. I'm just not perfectly measuring out all of my ingredients to make sure that I'm hitting all of these things. It is just made the same every single day and that is it. Now I know some people out there, some competitors, some coaches won't agree with this, but simply put, they are not me. So I do not care. <laughs> this is what I'm doing for myself to make myself happier in this sport, to give me longevity and my coach allows it. So that is what I'm going to do. But the best thing I did for myself was be open and honest and just be like, hey, this is something that I can't do and I need to change. And he was like, okay, cool. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So if you are reversing and you're somebody that is struggling during the reverse or whatever it may be, just realize that you need to be patient with yourself in whatever phase that you're in. Be patient because even though bodybuilding is a super important thing in my life, what is most important is keeping myself healthy mentally and physically. So I want to make sure that I'm not burning out. I'm not hating what I do. I want to always love what I do. These are just little things that I've been doing for myself to just calm myself down, bring myself down back to earth and just be. And I've been so much happier this way. But all right, it is time to go to the gym now. Let's get a cute outfit on and go hit some shoulders. Roll on up into the gym parking lot. I'd be lying if I said I'm totally great, so high energy. <sighs> I feel like I'm in a daze. I'm just like... I'm gonna admit, I don't feel the greatest. Post-show, I still haven't gotten my cycle, my female cycle. And this is something that has never happened to me before. I never lost it. So right now I'm like in a weird spot where I'm like, huh, I wonder why. I've just been super stressed, like I told you guys before. So that could be the reason as to why things are possibly delayed. And I'm hoping this extreme tiredness and cramping that I am feeling is a sign that I did not lose my cycle. It is just late. Ugh. So for my ladies out there, don't stress. Everything will be okay. I'm getting blood work done soon as well to make sure everything is good because I've also been having other symptoms, just health symptoms that are not good and are kind of concerning. I've mentioned it before on my channel how I was breaking out in hives randomly and it is persisting. I can't pinpoint what is causing it. I just need to pinpoint what the heck is wrong with me. Let's flip the mood, make it positive, even though I look like a complete maniac, and let's go hit shoulders and a little bit of arms. All right, let's see what I got. Yeah. Mm. I'm ashamed of that. Let's just have a good damn workout, okay? I need to stop bitching. I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard I wish I had a better voice that sang some better words I wish I found some chords in an order that is new I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink But now I'm insecure and I care what people think My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think My name's Blurry Face and I back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep but now we're stressed out wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep but now we're stressed out Will take me back to when I was young How come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from I'd make a candle out of it if I ever found it Try to sell it, never sell out of it I'd probably only sell one Maybe to my brother Cause we have the same nose Same clothes, homegrown A stone's throw from a creek we used to roam But it would remind us of when nothing really mattered Out of student loans and treehouse homes We all would take the ladder My, my name's Blurry Face and I
Jeez, did I even put salt on my meal? This is how I feel right now. I told you guys I was tired before the gym and I did have a really good workout, but like my energy is below zero right now and my agitation level is above 100. So it just be one of those days. I don't know, I just feel like I could put my fist through a wall and I'm not sure why because nothing truly bothered me. Sitting here with my fourth meal of the day. She has a big plate, but if I'm being honest, most of it is vegetables. We have my chicken, lots and lots of mustard and also a bit of this Melinda does Thai sweet chili sauce. It is so good mixed with mustard. There's some sweet potato in here. Then for the veggies, the vitamins and minerals, asparagus, carrots, tomatoes, sauerkraut. Delicious. I enjoy this meal a lot. And also in front of me, I have an Olipop. I couldn't have these during prep because there's carbs in them. And I'm not somebody that's a soda drinker. I don't like sodas, but something about these fruity flavored healthy sodas, they're just really good. I like grape better still. Grape is number one. This orange squeeze one's decent. I'm gonna eat my carrots. I'm just gonna live life and enjoy. It's not even 7 p.m. And after I eat this meal, I'm going to shower and put my pajamas on. I'm toast, I'm done for the night, we're done. This day's a wrap, I'm exhausted. Andy dandy heating pad. I'll be here the rest of the night. I'm actually gonna edit this video. You guys are watching right now. Gotta get my water in. For Stanley's today, keeps the bloating away. That's a lie. Someone else ain't feeling too hot. Hello. <sighs> Tummy want me. <laughs> Tummy's happy because you're eating food again. Mm -hmm. There's just like an always build up of gas. As promised, here's my last meal of the day. I have my measured out protein, like I had mentioned earlier, that is perfectly portioned out. But then here's my almond butter and jelly sandwich. As you can see, well, I guess you can't see that I didn't measure everything out. Didn't measure anything out to make it, just two slices of bread, almond butter, jelly. I used raspberry jelly today. Very good. I use low ingredient white bread. It's a very healthy bread, has no harsh chemicals, nothing like that. It's called Heindelberg bread. You can get it from Whole Foods. And then also with that, I have a couple pieces of dark chocolate. That is what I discussed with Coach to make sure that I stay happy. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you like the video, comment down below and subscribe. Love you all. Peace out.